What's up, you Griffs? All right, so uh, it's been a minute. It's probably the longest layoff I've had in a long time, but uh, shitty day. I don't even know if I'll do that on this video. I got a lot to show. Um, I'll just start out with a uh, little hockey contest response for Stout 79. Also got a package from him, but uh, if you're if you're a Detroit fan, we need something on on skates to be pretty good this year to make up for uh, the sport that involves the bat and the uh, sport that involves the big skin. So I'm not gonna start on that because I'm gonna go into a big ass rant. So um, I apologize about the video. I'm doing it on here because I'm sick and tired of trying to figure out what I'm gonna delete <laughs> just to be able to do a video. Um, but yeah, uh, so he wanted to see some of the, your, don't know if it was just Red Wings or just hockey stuff, getting ready for the season. Um, obviously I'm a Red Wings fan. I'm also a Pavel Bure fan, Paul Correa, obviously Brett Hall and Mike Madano ended up playing for the Wings at the end of, the, end of their careers, but uh, them. I haven't followed it a whole lot in the last 15 years. I'm more of a 90s guy. Um, yeah, so I met Darren McCarty a year and a half, two years ago. Then sign that foil rookie and a winter classic puck. Also had him sign this bobblehead. Oh, so, that's cool. Also met Joe Koser at Whitecaps game. Find that a bobblehead. I have a lot more bobbleheads that aren't signed. Um, I got a what was it Ray Whitney, Chris Whitney. And a Brett Hall and uh, Darren Hatcher. I didn't even know that he was a Red Wing until I found that. But I also have a couple pucks, not a whole lot. That is Erie Fisher. Definitely don't have the collection you do, need to. And then Slava Kozlov. I always liked him a lot. I guess I'm more of a 90s guy. Um, one of my first TTMs was to Scotty Bowman and I picked these 8x10s up for a quarter at our LCS. I didn't have anything of Scotty Bowman really to send so he signed a couple uh, generic player photos but I figured it was appropriate since he's the coach. Love Scotty Bowman. Um, yeah, I want. I need to get back into hockey a lot more. Got, these are some of my autograph cards that I just had available. I like I like Danny DeKaiser. Obviously, Dominic Hosick is a man. I don't like the way the the light looks on this though. And then right there's that Franzen. Franzen. And then uh Mr. Peter there. Thank you, Michael Fabian, for that. First secure package from him. Um, and then I got more of this guy, but Chris Osgood. And then, of course, Chelios. I got him on a bunch of other stuff, too. Just That's a few of what I got for uh, my Red Wings. Like I said, it's definitely one of my smaller PCs. Um, not intentionally, but... It is what it is. Oh, and then I. Uh, this one, I like that a lot. Uh, is this all backwards? Damn, dude. That's what I get for putting it on, doing it on my computer, right? <sighs> Fuck. So, 
if you know how to read backwards, you can see what that says. But that's Steve Eiserman. Speaking of, uh, one of the reasons I haven't made a video in forever, Steve Eiserman plays a part in it. Um, Ken Griffey Jr. does too. At least uh, 2430. So, what's up, Griffey Man? I got a care package from him to show. We tried doing a trade, but I'm a piece of shit and. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know how to put it. It's been just a stressful last few weeks. Um, but yeah, I'll explain that in a minute. So that's what I got for you, Michael. And uh, on behalf of that, so let's do this. I'm really hard trying to not talk about the Lions game right now. Like I'm holding back. Right, here's a couple of pickups I can show you real quick. For the Cubs PC, I know it's Diamondbacks, but right there, Miguel Montero. He's pretty sweet. He's got some pop. Um, some other pickups I've gotten. Definitely had to get me a Bowman Chrome Randy Moss rookie. And I got it in a lot, and it had these in it. So, we got the score, rookie, and then a Madden card. Then we got the Collector's Edge rookie, which I always like Collector's Edge a lot. And then we got the T3 rookie foil. So, I picked that whole thing up for like seven bucks, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um,. Right here is a TTM I got back last week. And like I said, it's just, I've literally like gone through my collection. I mean, I swear it's been more than 10 times. I'm talking everything and I'm one disorganized, scattered fuck. And everything's in piles, scattered, just poof. It's just been, it's been terrible guys. It's been terrible. Um, but I got Ron Francis back. I didn't send him any of these. I don't remember what I sent him, but I definitely didn't have these cards. And the 91 score, all of them turned out real nice, and I like this one. I don't know. This is his second year card, third year, whatever, but he sent that, so sent me an oldie, which is cool. So, got that. No, I've gotten more stuff in. I got this dude in a few weeks ago. Um, looked like shit though. Turned out like shit, Jordan Betts. I definitely did not prep those cards. And like everything turned out like crap. I think I showed that, picked that up the other day. It's his uh, second year futures card. Still kind of rookie, prospect miners. Um, I got this in from a friend on Facebook. The only female collector I know. So what's up? If you watch this. And she just sent these on the house. And so that's a Dick, uh, Dixon Machado. He was a white cat. And so was this guy. There you go, Ricky Russo. I went farming her. She helped me go farming. So, I mean, that's purple. Which is really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's just... It's just been a bad week, guys. Bad two weeks. More or less. So, you know, I can't I'm remember if she sent me anything else. I don't know. But, so, thank, thank you, Christy. I uh, met her on one of the Eastern Connecticut Facebook groups. Um, this is something I pulled. Devin Punches. So cool for the in-state PC. And that's numbered to 10. Numbered 6 of 10. So that's a nice little thick patch to pull out of retail. Um, here we go. So did you, did you, I know I'm kind of skipping all around, but you know what? I'm like ADD and manic and just crazy and shit, so it's kind of how I roll. 
I just do what I do, I suppose. Um, oh, I got Paul Hornig again. I got him on a custom that was for uh, my Pro Football Hall of Fame scrapbook. And now I got him for the Heisman Trophy scrapbook. So that's sweet. I wish this shit wasn't backwards. And then here's something neat. I recommend anybody sending a letter of request and your address to Mr. Tom Sula. Because I got a lot more than just him back. I just requested our photo and they put it in this folder. So it's the most crisp, best protected photo that I've ever gotten back, 8x10 wise. And I mean, they put it in this hardcore, hardcore, um, super thick protector and threw in a bunch of extra stickers and stuff so I'm gonna make some signature cards out of that um, like a little logo corner signing thing and he signed that if you guys know how to read backwards again um, that says authenticity so the 49ers guaranteed its own auth authenticity with this which is really really cool guys because I've never actually gotten a nice COA with a autograph request before. And then you got the little I Reggie Bush things and that. That's cool. So we got that. Awesome, awesome success there. Like I said, didn't pay no shipping, nothing, just purely sent a letter and reached out. Um, yeah. So, do a couple other things. Show you these. There's a few notables from a box of Heritage that I opened the other day. Got Ichiro, and that's numbered, uh, is that 566? Looks like it's the chrome refractor. And then we got Jose Urena, Archie Radley, Sean Gilmartin, nice Clayton Kershaw award winners, Preston Tucker, Noah Syndergaard. And if I pull this guy at all out of anything, it is considered a win, even if the card's not worth as much as the box cost. Chris Bryant on the performers rookie. So, this is a decent box. I got a numbered card and a Chris Bryant rookie, so I'm take of that. Um, all right. I think, show this. All right, so more or less, I'm just gonna let y'all in on it, even though it's kind of our little business, but it's, it'll just explain where I'm at, like mentally and stuff. So, Jason, Griffey Man 2430, is trying to put together a high tech set, and I had gotten a nice package from uh, Wesker Griff, and I do appreciate it, Ed, but I wanted to help Griffey Man. I want to help Jason be able to make his make his set, and I think it means more to him than me, even though Scherzer is a PC item, and uh, I told him I had it, and I was honestly just going to give it to him, and uh, I was basically inquiring into like different rookies and stuff, uh, older ones. And I asked him, do you have an Iserman? Because, I mean, that's more or less my number one desired rookie card. Realistic rookie card, um, hockey-wise. And I've never had one. So, he told me he did. I'm like, cool. So, we just, we we're going to swap it out. And I hate, like, I've never, I've sent care packages, I've gotten care packages... I can't say that I've ever officially made a trade just because 
I mean, you send something out that's out of the goodness of your heart. That's just pure love. Here you go. Hope this helps. But once you're working out things, it's like now you're coming to an agreement. Somebody might not be happy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I mean, if this puts it in perspective, it's gotten a lot better. But I've been like really working at my stuff. You can see that right down there. That is like all protected parts. Just I'm talking box and pop boxes worth and I mean they're in like crazy stacks and just I mean heat piles and then I got boxes full of them and like I am ADD is a bitch and I'm like hyper manic so I get into something I'm like and uh, yeah I'm not like depressed and cut myself and stuff just when I get excited, you can't bring me down. And, um, you know, my cards get me excited. So, basically, I haven't seen the Scherzer card since I sent him that thing. I can't find it anywhere. And, I mean, Jason is one of my closer friends on here. And one of the first people I really started following and talking to, etc., and I don't want to let him down. I don't just... I don't know. And the fact that like I haven't touched it. And I can't find it. And I've been through everything. It's just driving me insane. Driving me insane. And to make it worse, I got Griffey's... Or I got Jason's package, guys. Yeah. And he, he threw in a ton of extras. A lot of them hockey rookies from you know similar time period as the uh the Iserman and you know all those they were in a couple team bags and the Iserman was in a top loader tape and stuff and I'm like oh so I'm just like admiring the Iserman this is before I knew I couldn't find the the Scherzer I'm just admiring it like oh sweet now you know I'll go home at lunch because I work uh noon until 11 at night I'll go and check the mail and like I put everything back in the bubble mailer and like I don't know it's not it wasn't in the bubble mailer like all of the ones that weren't in the hard case were in the bubble mailer guys in the fucking bubble mailer motherfuckers like I'm saying driving me crazy crazy now I can't find the Iserman either. My my most desired hockey card, I finally get. I don't have what I'm supposed to be giving one of my best friends on here. And I can't even find the shit that he was sending me. Like, would that not drive you insane? I mean, I've been putting off my video because I wanted to show that. I wanted to get his stuff out to him. So now I have to, so I'm just going to send him some crazy shit. Just like to say sorry, I don't know. Like, so I feel, I feel like a piece of shit. And, I mean, Jason has even brought it up to me. Like, I bring it up to him. And I thank you for that. And I know I've thanked you for that. And trust me, like, you won't be disappointed. And no matter what, when I find that card, it will be yours. It will be part of your set promise but I pray that one day I can find that Iserman because it was nice and centered and looked like it could have gotten at least an 8 and I would just love to find that send it in and then you know what stand it up so guys it's frustrating so I'm going to show you this stuff that he sent me sent me a uh, nice little Jake Morris rookie there um, sent me some of his Conseco rookies that he had left from dismantling that PC and just some older Consecos and stuff. Bam. Bam. And then here's some of the hockey. I think it's Yari Curry. That's old. And then we got Pat, Pat, Pat LaFontaine. 
I liked him. And then Larry Murphy. I mean, these rookies, dude. And then, like, right here, this kills it. Adam Oates and the Red Wings. Rookie. Joe Newendike. Dino Cicerelli. Like, seriously? So, I mean, on top of what I was getting from him, he killed it. But, I mean, you guys all know how Jason does. He, he just kills it. When you get something, you will definitely be smiling in the end. So, got uh, Ed Belfour a couple times. Jose, Pavel Bure, Jose, 88. Uh, Jose on the Classic. Did not have this Pavel Bure rookie. Did not have that Pavel Bure rookie. Did have that one. And that one. And then the one with Valerie. But the other ones, big ones that I didn't have. Uh, Matt Sandin. Matt Sandin. Matt Sandin. Then that's a cool one. I don't know if that's... Is that an error right there? Tell me, bro. But that's nasty. Matt Sandin. And again, I apologize about the graininess and the length. There's McGuire and him. Richie and a rookie. Is that a rookie? I don't know. I don't know what year his first card was. Was it 90? There's a Canseco for the Red Sox. Jeff Conan. Rich Gannon again. Terry Steinbach. BJ Serhoff. Mike Greenwell. Joe Mullen. There you go. John Randall. I don't think that one's a rookie, though. And here's uh, Jim Harbaugh. Not sure what year his rookie is. I'm not even going to try saying the dude's name. And Simeon Rice. Jose Canseco. Canseco. Will Clark. Down as rookies. Alonzo Mourning. NBA Draft. Upper Deck. And then a Chris Carter and Tim Brown out of my favorite set. Score. 89. Greatest draft in NFL history, in my eyes. Barry. And then Dion. Aikman. Oh. Actually, they got a lot of 88 guys in that set, too, that are rookies. Like Michael Irvin. Chris Spielman and Benny Blades. Oh, Chris Carter. You know how we roll, Derek. Here Thomas rookies in there too. So thank you, Jason. Thank you, thank you. I'm just telling you right now, I have already packaged up something that I had to really weigh whether or not I could put it in there. But it's for your team. So I'm doing it. So I hope you like it when you get it, bro. Um yeah. So I know I'm probably missing some things. Uh, but I got a very unique package in from Scout79, who's also a Michigan, Michigan man, which is cool. Like today was very, very, very fucked up bad day for us. But sent me these. Like, I mean, this was. Dude, it's totally cool. One of the most unique. It was kind of like me. Like, you can ask Armando. Like, I just sent him a package recently. I don't think he's made a video yet, but it has, like, I mean, just a little bit of everything in it. And, um, this was a unique one. I don't know if you sent this for my kids or for me or how much of a collectible it is. Never have collected the uh, Cabbage Patch kids. Let's set me a uh, keychain in the package from 97 which feels like yesterday um so that was neat I uh, also sent me a bunch of uh, blank photo paper which what I will do with it is I'm going to make like signature autograph cards like use like team stickers in the corner, kind of what I was talking about earlier. Uh, I don't print my own photos at home. I either use Walmart, Mailpick, something like that. 
sent me this 93 rookies baseball pack of uh, deck of cards which is cool got some good rookies on that too piazza and no oh, well it's tim salmon this is cool because uh, i hits to home a little super bowl 40 pin my wife loved this dude I like I'm saying it this package was I'm like looking at it like like what's popping up next but very cool um definitely gonna get you back this one's really this part's really sweet so in its case still got a hockey watch collector watch and from one of my all-time favorite teams the 97 Red Wings collector's edition that is awesome bro thank you like I said I will definitely be getting at you um also set me this is cool so this is I have to say my favorite player of all time some Barry Sanders pencils two of them in fact um so very awesome bro I might be leaving something out too. I can't think of it. I don't know. So that's what I got. Um, I got Ricky. I'm gonna have to do Ricky Russo on my next video just because I'm rolling on 30 minutes. And I mean, Ricky, it's not like Ricky would even know I put it in there. He would have turned this thing off 22 minutes ago. <laughs> So anybody that stuck around, I do appreciate it. It's been a while. A couple things that I wanted to put out there is, I don't want to say I'm gonna watch less videos, but I gotta do something because I put, I used to never put time into anything except for putting out TTMs. And I mean, if you guys watch my old videos, I used to roll with five spots like every single day. Like I'd get, I'd get one or two in in a day, and I'd be like. Kind of uh, depressed about it and I'm not gonna lie like I spent all my time like looking at your guys' pages and just watching videos and watching videos and not doing anything for myself and now I'm like why I'm why don't I get anything in anymore like you get out what you put in for TTFs and I'll, I'll be honest guys like I have a pretty nice collection, nothing special, um, card wise. And as much as I love to pull an auto out of a pack or, you know, get in a PC card, dude, there's nothing like the TTM. Because it's you reaching out to them, them granting your request. You're not just going and purchasing something off of eBay. Some cocksucker is going to send it to you, you're half fucked up. And, you know, if it gets fucked up, it sucks, but. You know that risk when you're doing it already. I'm almost done. Almost done, honey. And we'll go to bed. Not I'm not talking about the lions today. That'll be on my next video. So, uh... Yes. I'm going to dedicate more time into that. Especially since I've been trying to get back in shape. I've been boxing. Kickboxing, running with weight vests on like working out with my dad at like 11 o'clock at night from like 11 till 12 30 at night every what monday wednesday and friday just fucking railing that thing and i think it'll work out slim down pretty quick so see this we'll see what where we're at at christmas time um next week's my birthday I turn 31 um well, so I got I got a big time PC card in. And I almost left this out. Work done. PSA ten. Finest refractor. Rookie. That is like my second favorite running back of all time, right there. Seminoles. And yeah, so I'll still be watching videos and. Just like I said, like I gotta take a step back from cards, 
I, I gotta get myself together here before I can really buy a lot more cards. I gotta, like I can't put myself in that situation to where I can't find something and I have no clue. Cause like, I get so weird when I, I'll have something and I'll be like, ooh, ooh, I need this for this and I don't wanna lose this. So you know what? I'm gonna put it in this really fucked up spot. This little, I'm gonna slide in this little spot because it's so fucked up that I would put it here. I couldn't forget that I put it there. And then I'm like, the fuck did that go? And here I am. And I gotta get rid of my stacks and my clutter piles and I'm working on a nice, nice shelf there. I got a desk now. And I got a spot now, so I should be able to do this thing. I'll try to put out some more videos. Definitely not 31 minute and 8 second videos, but figured it's been a minute and kind of give everybody an update and show off some things from some new friends and some awesome old friends and just really work on getting myself together, back in shape back I've always been clustery and comes with being me but just, you know work on some personal things keep spending time with my kids when I got it and working hard it's all you can do so I definitely want to say what's up and to check out and etc etc the stout 79 Jason the Griffey man 2430 I said his name, so definitely Ricky Russo, too. I love you, Matthew Stafford, and Hugh Graffs. I'm out.